Lady, go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. Okay, today we are going to get into Virgo's uh, busted reading. Um, what do they have in store for you reading? It's just, you know, to catch you up on what's coming towards you. To see what's going on in your love life. This is a general love reading for March 2021. Okay. Thank you to all of you that have subscribed. And to those of you that will subscribe today because you're watching the video. Yay. <laughs> but don't forget to like, share, and subscribe before you leave. Okay. Let's get into it, Virgo, and see what's going on with your love interest and this is from the perspective of your person their overall energy towards you oh this is good four of wands so they're coming in like they definitely want commitment like they definitely are looking for um to take this love to the next level okay Virgo, i like it they're definitely looking forward to um, I keep hearing moving on up. So some of you guys could be moving together, you know, like making it like super, super official, like moving into an apartment together or, um, I see apartment moving into an apartment together. And this could be like a, I, I don't know why I see like a very young couple. So this could be a young couple that's just starting out together. Maybe it's your first apartment living with um, your person. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, this is starting out pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So we got the high priestess. Two of swords. And the uh, Prince of Cups. So this is saying that um, this person, okay. So your person is like they're coming off like they they want to. Um, they're having patience with the situation. Uh, so I feel like one person wants to move the um, the relationship forward, and the other is undecided. So I'm picking up on both of you guys' energy. I like to read from the perspective of your person, but for some reason, this reading in particular, I feel both of you guys' energy. Okay, so somebody is holding back here. One person wants to push forward, and the other is like, nah, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I'm with it. So you guys need to, I, I think that this um, needs some form of... Um, like, you guys need to talk. Because it's, like, really, um, your person is, so this could be your person that may not want to move forward. Because it seems as, because I like to read from their perspective, but I could feel both energies. So, that's why I said this is a young couple. Because I feel like it's not, like, trouble in paradise. I feel like it's more fear. It's, like, more fear-based because you're, like, I don't know if I want to move in. Is this going to work? Is it not going to work? You know, in relationships, we all take chances. So it seems as if it's coming across like both of you guys are showing some sort of fear with moving forward with the relationship to the next step. As far as like moving in, I feel like it's like a, we want to live together energy, but you guys are scared. So you got the high priestess, which this is coming across like um, they're, 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 you're, you're trying to be clever on how you do things. You're trying to use your intuition to make this decision. You're trying to, I don't know why I keep hearing moving. Okay, so some of y'all moving. Like, the spirit wants me to really push that out there. Like, somebody is getting ready to move in. Y'all getting ready to, to sign a lease or something. Like, with your significant other, with your person. So, you guys are, this person is using their intuition definitely to figure out the best way to handle uh, moving. They're definitely trying to figure out um, the best way to handle this um the moving situation because they don't want to be forceful about it because i feel like your person like was like hurry up i'm ready to go like what are you doing they don't want to be forceful because but they just um they know that you're going to come with them but they're running out of patience 
they're being they they're running out of patience so because they are running out of patience it's coming across like they're guarded like they're frustrated with the situation and like they want to give up but they still offering their love to you they definitely um are giving their love to you because you know they want this situation to go this is like a young love you know, they trying to, in order to get you to say, okay, yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and go with you. They are um, being very charming towards you. And sometimes they come off a little guarded or you guys may not be on the same page. But at the end all be all, they definitely want to push this relationship forward and move in together. I just keep hearing moving in together. That must be for... Somebody or the majority of you that are thinking about moving with your significant other. What's the blockage? Emotions and the outcome is balanced. Okay, I like it. Um, the Eight of Cups, of course, the blockage is they cannot be as emotional as you would like a Virgo. So maybe that's your hesitation on moving because you're like, oh, can I deal with this person? Maybe you're dealing with an air sign because they're more intellectual than emotional. So, they could be coming across like they don't care, but they are offering um, emotion here with the Knight of Cups. They're offering it in a small way, but it's not consistent like you would like. So, I can see that this emotional uh, stability could be a blockage for you. Mm. Okay. And the outcome is finding a healthy balance between the two. Between, um, I feel like this is finding a healthy balance. I think it's more than two things. Um, but the top two that I see is emotional balance and the um, emotional balance that you may require, Virgo, like you want more emotional stimulation from this person. They may not be providing that. And also, um, seems like this person is more like the business minded person. Like they want to, you know, when they say, when they say go, they, they say go. So you kind of probably want them to balance out the emotional availability and also practice a little patience as well. Like everything doesn't have to be, um, go time. Cause I feel like this person like, okay, it's go time. We've been doing this for too long. I'm ready. Let's move in. Let's get it cracking. So, Virgo, your person is trying to get you on board, but you have some reservations here. So, let's get some um, let's get some clarifiers and see what's going on. Let's clarify the four wands, Holy Spirit. What's the four wands? Oh Lord, what's going on? So. Now we got the Seven of Swords. So some type of sneaky energy that may be um, very sly, slick energy with the Four of Wands. So, oh, Virgo. Okay, your person is coming across like they feel like you ain't making, busting no moves because you're doing something behind their back. They feel like, okay, is this person cheating on me? Blah, blah, blah. What's going on? Okay. All right. So now I feel like they're starting to get insecure about the relationship because it's, it's not moving forward like they want. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. What's going on with all these cards? The star, the ten of this, and the queen of swords. Okay. That's really good energy. But I'm not going to take those because they just flopping out all over the place. Now they want to talk. I just need to get a clarifier for the High Priestess, Holy Spirit. What's the High Priestess here? Justice. Okay. There's some fairness that's going to be brought into this situation. <sighs> yeah. So, your person is like, I just want everything to be fair. So, they want to make sure that they're not getting played. Because they feel like, okay, Virgo, um, what's going on? What's taking you so long? And it's not that you're doing anything, Virgo. You're just making sure that this is the right move for you. And which I get it. 
Because when you bring your life together with another person, you have to make sure that um, all your ducks are in a row and that you're absolutely positively sure that this is what you want to do. So before you bust that move, you making sure like this is what you want to do with this person. It's not that you're being sneaky. You're just taking some time to reevaluate where you are because they're feeling like they, you know, you don't want to do it because you got the five of pentacles at the bottom. Let's clarify the two of swords. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So this person is feeling like they want to cry, like they feel depressed. They have, they feel emotional loss now because nothing is not, it's not going their way. This is not, ugh, it's not going their way. So did you tell this person no? Like, did they do something to you where you was like, nah, I, I ain't with it? Mm. Let's clarify the Prince of Cups. Mmm. We got two, the magician and the eight of this. So this person feel like being charming and showing you that they care and they love that you will get on board. There's something that they want to do with you that you're not going to do. I keep hearing moving. It can also be something else that they want from you that you're not giving them. It, it could be a relationship. It could be the whole relationship because I heard that too, but I kept hearing moving, moving more. Um, I kept hearing uh, moving together more but this also could be you telling them no that you don't want to get back with them because you got the four ones which means they want to come into union with you in some type of way and you could be telling them no because it was some sneaky business going on and now this person is trying to come back and show you that oh, they're trying to come back and show you that um they want to provide balance to their relationship. They want to make up for what happened. And they are using their intuition to bring in some sort of fairness. Some sort of fairness to you. That's what they're planning to do. They're not necessarily all the way prepared. Like, they're going into the situation blindly, too. Whether they're trying to come back into your life or they're trying to get you to move with them and to go to a higher level of commitment, they don't know what to expect either. But they are willing to take the risk with you. But they, they're coming across a little guarded and they're being, they, they're showing forms of depression and anxiety because they're like, okay, well, I don't know if my Virgo is with it because you Virgo, you're kind of being a little bit quiet right now. You're not telling them no, you're not telling them yes. So they're waiting on your answer to see like, okay, are you going to rock with me or are you not? But they're trying to show you definitely they're trying to show you that they care and they love because they're, the purpose of all of this is definitely to show you that they care and they love. They're ready to put in the hard work. You got the eight of this. So they're not just going to be out here, you know, just doing whatever. They, they're starting off as a knight. They're coming in with their cup to show you that they care, that they love. But they are guarded as well. They don't want to. They don't want to give too much to the situation and they're not receiving much back because Virgo you're being really quiet right now so they're like okay let me just offer something small let me make the first gesture so that I can show them my interest and show them that I'm serious about this and they feel like by doing this they can manifest what they want from the situation but they're not just you know giving you this small offer without work. See, that would be the issue. I'm glad that these two came out together. Because when I see knights, I'd be like, uh, it's a knight. I don't know. Because uh, knights do get a bad rap in the tarot. But when I see a knight with pinnacles, I'd be like, mm, okay. That means, you know, they're willing to work at it. They're not just coming in like, oh, just give me your love. Or I'm going to just give you a little bit and I ain't going to give you no more. The Knight with the Magician and the Eight of this is really good energy because this person is like, okay, I'm going to step out on faith and give you this small offer, but I'm also going to manifest you back into my life. But while mastering my craft, I'm going to be working towards it. I'm not just going to expect, I'm not just going to expect, um... It to come to me for free because I'm charming or I'm handsome or I know how to talk to you right or I'm very pretty and I'm sexy and um, I'm your your um, I'm the prize 
nothing comes to love without work. And this person knows that. So that's really, really awesome. So you may want to consider this person, Virgo, because they're coming across like they they have matured, but they're maturing. Um, but with their maturity, they also have become a little guarded because they don't want to get hurt. Okay, what's the Eight of Cups? Holy Spirit, what's the Eight of Cups? What's the blockage? Mm, okay. Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, Two of Wands. Oh, the blockage with this is they are definitely, um, they're not prepared to walk away from this. They don't want to give up. The blockage is if they... They want this to be um, long term. They want this to go to the next level. And one or both of you guys are holding back. They want this to go to the next level. They're trying to plan and prepare. How are they going to get this to progress? Or how are they going to get this to um, go further? The Eight of Cups with the Two of Wands. They definitely um, are fearful of emotionally tapping out of this situation and it not going as planned because they have some sort of plan here with the world, with the two of wands, because this car has a world in it. So they, they have some sort of plan of travel and doing things together. So they are definitely afraid that their plan is not going to go through because um, Virgo is coming off um, a little bit hesitant because it could be hesitant of what happened in the past. This person could have did something they weren't supposed to do. They could have been cheating. It could have been some sneaky behavior, you know, because that's coming across too. And then you could be fearful of moving with this person or moving forward with this person because you don't want to go through that cycle again with them. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's how this is coming off. You don't want to go through that cycle of sneakiness again with your person. But it seems as if they have um, they have brought some change into their life. Let's clarify temperance. Okay, this card did flip. Let me get one more. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is a past person. All right, I knew it. Six of Cups, a lot of nostalgia going on here. Okay. So we have temperance with the Seven of Cups. And the will of fortune. So this person did have options. So it, it, they're coming back. They're trying to skip over. Oh, okay, I see as well too. Like they're trying to skip over the, the dating part. Because you guys have known each other before. Or you've been in a relationship with this person before. So they're coming back like, okay, I got rid of my options, my illusions. They're trying to bring balance into this love. Your partner is trying to bring some balance. Your person. And... I feel like they are saying the way that I'm going to bring balance is definitely to show you that I'm being honest. Um, so they want you to be with them. Now, I kind of feel like they want to be around you 24-7 because you guys were in separation and they was doing their own thing. They wasn't happy. So now they back and they like, look, I didn't got rid of all these people and I chose the one cup, which is you, Virgo. And I'm ready for that positive change in the true love that you offered them. Now they're ready to accept it. But Virgo, I feel your hesitation with accepting their offer, with accepting their offer, because you like, uh, did you not forget what you was on a couple months ago or a year ago or two years ago, however ago this was? Like, y'all had the connection, but it was some sneaky action going on, and that's how the connection became broken. And now, but they're coming back to heal the connection because they feel like they owe that to you and to themselves because they know that they missed out too. So they want to try to come back and redeem this connection. You got August. So maybe you guys, um, maybe you started dating this person in August or you will be moving together in August. Interesting. Let's get some more. Some more oracle cards. So you keep getting months here. What's this month? September, August, September. August, September. Temptation will test you. 
new job and career. Okay. And feather. Someone you know is undependable and insecure. So, Virgo, this is how you look at your person. <laughs> like, you feel like they're... So, Virgo, your person, you're saying your person is coming across like they're um, undependable and insecure. Like, you don't want to go back through that same cycle. And I totally get it. Because right now, you're just really working on your money. You could have a new job or career coming in. And the temptation will test your car. It's basically saying you don't want to feel tempted to go back to this person. Because this could have just happened. And this person could be rushing back in um, prematurely without doing the work that they need to do on themselves. So that can definitely be a reason why you are holding back. You just want to make sure that this person has completely transformed. So you can start a new beginning the proper way and not start it you know in vain okay let's get one more knowledge card here because i think my battery is about to die okay one more knowledge Where uh, prosperity lies ahead so this is definitely saying um, meditate and contemplate at the bottom of the deck. So, Virgo, you I feel like you're doing the right thing by not moving too fast and trying to see um, what you should do. Um, pray about it. But this also says good things can come out of this relationship. It just may take a little bit longer for you to see. So, make this person work. If you are interested in being back with this person, then I would definitely say make this person work. Make them show you who they are and who they become for the betterment of the relationship okay virgo so this has been your busted what they have in store for you reading and until next time the